Alright, I've been experimenting with uh, a couple of inlid reach units for doing RTK for surveying and I hope to use it for water ski purposes and maybe for drone purposes but I just thought I would give back a little bit on how to hook the units up, two units together. So there's my inlid reach unit and the key thing is to get the correction points from the base to the rover. This is my rover and specifically I want to go into the cabling of the rover. I'm using a 915 MHz 3DR radio clone of a 3DR radio to get the uh, correction points from the rover to the from the base to the rover. Uh, I wanted the simplest package that I could come up with here. The Emlid Reach comes with a proper cable to plug into the uh, UART port on the Emlid Reach. That's the UART port is the one closest to the uh, micro USB port. Now you'll notice that uh, the colors that I have coming out of here are different than uh, the way the cable by default is done um, and that's because uh, I swapped them around the cable the wires that come are normally red white blue green yellow um, okay this is a bit of OCD but I always use the uh, yellow and green for transmit and receive for all of my drone work and so I wanted it to be the same I didn't want to use the white and blue and so I uh, actually you can just pull out the tabs uh, you can just those little tiny tabs uh, you can lift them up with a very sharp knife and pull out the wire and move it to another position you can go with wrong colors if you don't have the same OCD that I do and then you can see I, th I took the one that had uh, pins on the end and I cut off and mated them, soldered them to a cable that goes into the radio. And so on the MLED reach you've got 5 volt power, um, transmit, receive, and then down at the other end you've got the, the ground and on these little radios that I have you can see on the back side that they have 5 volt transmit receive and ground and you'll notice that the transmit there, the yellow uh, actually goes into the receive port of the MLID reach and the receive port goes into the transmit port on here. I'm indoors right now so I'm not getting good signals obviously and you can see the points are a little bit all over the place but the key things after you get the units wired together and communicating is to get all of the parameters correct on the base and the correction input screens. I've just connected to my units using Chrome browser and I actually went in and I renamed my units base and rover so I knew which one I was dealing with and we are on the status screen right now on the base and you can see I do have some signals there and it's got a position and that's fine but the key screens in here are the correction screens well there's a few screens that I found to get things right and I will show you in just a sec See, now I'm on the status screen of my rover that's going to rove around for the survey. And the key point on here is I have gray bars coming up in the status screen, which means I'm getting correction input from the base unit. And there's the goal. I'm back on the base unit, and I'm on the key screen here, which is the base mode. So I have corrections output. Turned on, selected serial, UART, and the 3DR radios are 57.6. And 
I set my base average to three minutes, the average single, so that it figures out its its home position in three minutes and gets a reasonably accurate representation of where it's located. But that still didn't get me everything that I needed. There were a couple of other screens that I had to do, uh, and I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I haven't read everything, and and I'm not sure yet. Position output. I also set that to UART 57.6, and left the format at ERB, uh, and used TCP, or sorry, serial, and turned it on. So position output is there, and correction input is on, and using UART 57.6, RTCM3, those are the options that I have set there. And that's everything that I had to change on the base model. This is, of course, after getting the base model on the Wi-Fi so that I could talk to it with a web browser. Now I'm on the rover. I'm in base mode. And you'll see base mode is off. It is not the base. Position output. Set to serial. UART 57.6, format ERB, corrections input is on, UART 57.6, RTCM3, and that's all I had to do in the settings to get this working.